docker desktop on mac is extremely slow but there are a few things you can do to speed things up in this video i want to talk about them so you don't have to look up for them yourself but why we even consider like doing something with docker well as i said docker desktop is extremely slow on mac and windows because docker is virtualized on those machines on linux it runs natively on windows and mac it has to be virtualized so it has to live in some kind of box and then you're communicating with that box from your host machine and that already introduces some lag on top of that we have this file sharing features like you share your files between host machine and this virtual environment that you create. So these file sharing features are the main cause of Docker being so slow. And it always has been. Docker became better and better on stuff, but two years ago I had this issue when, when I started it and didn't launch any containers, nothing. It was taking like the entire CPU I had. And I was afraid that my Mac will just fly off with those fans spinning like crazy. And it took like a year almost to fix the bug. Another thing is that the Docker as a company is getting into this strange stage where they announced that Docker Desktop is now a semi-paid feature. It is paid subscription uh, product for companies that have more than 250 people or earn something like more than 10 million in revenue, which is not a big hit for smaller companies and individual developers like I am but it's still something that says okay we we want some money from you but I, I get it I get it they did a tremendous job and they're allowed to put a price tag on their product there are a couple things I want to say that maybe can help speed up the docker on your machine so the first thing you should definitely do is go into your settings uh, into the resources tab and increase the amount of cpus memory and swap to as much as you can basically in the past people were saying that uh, they increased those settings but the docker was even slower and they should revert to the default settings um, i found out that this is not the case anymore so you can definitely increase those settings. The another thing is to go to the experimental features. And here you have two toggles. Uh, one is enabled by default when you switch the other one on. So this is the new VirtuFS accelerated directory sharing feature. This is something that I think brings Docker Desktop on Mac to another level. And it gives a big promise to, to all the users, which they even described in the article um, Speed Boost Achievement Unlocked on Docker 4.6 on Mac. They introduced the VirtuFS, the new technology that can speed things up, but they claim it can speed up the file sharing operations up to 98%. 98%. It's right there, here. So I immediately turned it on, obviously. Um, I've been working on it since. But it got me thinking, what's the actual difference? So I compared them, so you don't have to. On top of that, I'm a kind of Docker nerd. I wanted to compare three things. So the regular Docker desktop with these old file sharing features, the new file sharing with VirtuFS, and the third one, the Linux VM that I created inside the virtual box. I tested everything on the Intel MacBook Pro from 2019 with 64 gigabytes of RAM and i9 inside, which is a quite a beefy machine, if you ask me. So this machine handles things pretty good I would say but the results from these tests were kind of unexpected what I did I, I took my API which is built with node.js using nest.js framework and I tested three things building of an image where where I put everything second thing was installing the node dependencies the the, the meme worthy black hole of node modules I wanted to install them because there lies a lot of files so I want to test those capabilities and I also tested the hot reload features with with two stages the initial hot reload which is a little bit longer and then the real life hot reload as you would say because when you develop something you of course excessively type command s like a pro senior developer always does then it 
fires up the hot reload and it rebuilds everything so the changes to your API are almost instant. You don't have to like rerun the command by yourself. Anyhow, so building an image, installing modules, hot, initial hot reload and the development hot reload. So these are the things I've, I've checked. And the times were so drastically different between one another that I did film some things twice. So I started with the regular Docker, so the Docker without VGFS. And it was like, building an image took almost 90 seconds, 89.9 uh, .9 seconds, and then 93 seconds. And I mean, I got used to those times. Then the first time I launched the yarn install command, it took 250 seconds. It's quite a lot, right? Then the initial hot reload took between 54 and 70 seconds which is quite a big difference. And the hot reload itself took 13.8 seconds, which is quite a lot. You need to wait like 14 seconds to test your changes. I mean, that, that, that's a lot. I went on. I enabled the VirtuFS virtualization framework, which by the way, you can enable only on Mac OS Big Sur or, or newer. This technology requires the new virtualization framework, which was introduced in Mac OS Big Sur. So, that's it, tip there. So I enabled uh, this feature and run the test again. The fresh installment, the fresh Git repository, everything was fresh. So the building of an image took almost the same amount of time. 91.4 seconds and 86.3 seconds. I was a little bit concerned because they're basically the same, but maybe there is no much file operations happening in there. So I thought, okay, let's go with another test. Initial yarn install common took whopping 304 seconds which is almost a minute longer 50 seconds longer compared to the bare bone docker without this new technology and i was like okay so this video i, I need to throw it up uh, the idea is wrong um, and i run the test again it took 300 seconds with virtufs but then i thought okay Maybe there's something something wrong. I go back to the initial setup, to the old file system solutions, and I did everything again. And to my surprise, the test took 372 seconds. And then I said, okay, I, I think I know what's happened. I think my Mac overheated. And that's why the new framework came up worse. But I run the tests and, and, and then again and again, and the, the tests were conclusive. My, with the, the short amount of time be, between tests, the, 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 the new framework was a, a bit better. So I tested the the last two things. So the hot reel, the, the, the initial building, which took 35 and 24 seconds consecutively, which is almost half the time of the regular one. Very nice. And the hot reload itself took seven and eight seconds which is great it's almost half of the time i'm very i'm very happy with that okay so the last thing i wanted to test is how the docker behaves on the virtualized linux system that lies on the mac os inside the virtual box etc 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 so the in image building took consecutively 111 seconds two times i run this test and two times i got the same time which was kind of funny so the next test revealed the winner the node modules installation took only 76 seconds which is something i think should be the gold standard i didn't run the second test because i was so happy with, with this result and again the hot reload the initial hot reload build took 24 seconds which is something faster than the Docker desktop on Mac with VirtuFS enabled, but not that different. And the hot reload itself took four seconds, which is something, again, I think some, something that should be standard. I finished there, but uh, I will give those three ratings in two categories. I think the, the speed and the ease of use, ease of installation, convenience. So regular Docker is very easy to install, but it's uh, it's very slow. The VirtuFS is basically the same when it comes to installation and convenience wise you only like tick one box and that's it. And the speeds are in the middle and Linux is the, the fastest but it's not so convenient to install it. Not, it's not that easy. Uh, if you're not familiar with virtual machines it could be kind of kind of hard to do 
It's not, don't be afraid of it. So right now I'm using the middle solution. So I'm using the VirtuFS and Docker desktop on Mac just because it was released like two weeks ago. I think the Docker desktop will be even better in the following months. Uh, considering this this change but if the speed of docker become the liability for me if it will impact my work somehow i will definitely switch to the linux virtual machine so that's it if you liked the video or if you learned something make sure to leave that like and consider subscribing let me know in a comment if you like this type of video or have any questions uh, i'll be more than happy to answer them i want to know your thoughts as well so yeah See you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.